obsession. Obsession with children aesthetics has become mainstream in China. What was so innocent and cute in the beginning, now after seeing this trend for a while, makes me and other Chinese netizens disgusted and cringe. This trend of infant-like girls is getting mainstream, literally mainstream, and every girl in China including me, has experienced how big of a trend it is and the majority follows this trend to a certain degree. And so in this video, let's talk about specifically to what degree this trend has become mainstream and you'll be definitely surprised to find out what has recently become the norm here. So let's get started. <laughs> Chinese slang in recent years has added a lot of words related to beauty standards. For males, it was always gao fu shuai, meaning tall, rich, and handsome. But for females, there have been different terms. But recently, that was the mainstream one, which is bai shou yo, meaning white, skinny, and infantile. I already talked about beauty standards in my previous video, but I only focused on two aspects, white and skinny. Skipping the very sensitive topics such as minors and how girls here strive not only to look, but also behave like three-year-olds. You've probably seen this Chinese girl who says, <clears throat> yeah, and uh, in one of her interviews I just saw, she says that this is her natural voice, that this is, she's not faking it. <sighs> and after hearing this, I'm just like, girl, stop faking. Stop faking your age and your voice. And, you know, it's just like a very, you know, typical pick me girl, you know, who tries to attract as many eyes of men as possible. But, you know, it's okay. It's natural that, you know, women want to attract men. It's very, very natural as well as men want to attract women. Yeah, it's all fine. But the problem is this girl doesn't look like a man's dream. She looks more like a pedophile's dream. Come on, like who will be attracted? to the image of a child who needs a speech therapist. And you know, it's not just one girl in, in China who speaks like this. Of course, there are countless of girls, you know, who speak like this. And not only they want to sound like children, they also speak like children. They avoid using complicated language and they even have some words. Instead of saying like Xiao Mao, they say uh, Hani Qi. <laughs> I can fake it. And another one, instead of saying Xiao Go, they say Xiao Go. <sighs> Yeah, maybe I should learn how they sound, but it's cringy, you know. And you know, one year ago, my Chinese was way simpler. I couldn't use, like, I, I only used simple structures and simple words. And I met this guy and he told me, Oh, your Chinese is so adorable. You speak like a child, but in a good way. And at the time, in my mind, it was like, yeah, it's a compliment. I, I was basically used to the fact being childish means being sexy. So childish is sexy. And then I recently started thinking, since what time, you know, acting like a child and looking like a child has become the new sexy? Or has it always been the way, this way? That's the question. And so then I looked at the Chinese celebrities 20, 30 years ago, and you just look at them and you understand that they would not fit the modern beauty standards in China. The modern beauty standard is in China is Yo Tai which means a baby face. And no, baby face here in China is not just about the stereotypical puppy eyes or round cheeks. Chinese girls get actually into very detail of infants to look exactly like them. Let me give you just five examples to illustrate this. Example number one, the baby eyelashes. What the fuck are the baby eyelashes? Well, if you look at the babies, you would notice that actually their eyelashes are straight and long and this is the desired look of Chinese ladies recently. The eyelashes need to be long and straight just like a baby. The goal of these eyelashes are to make people think and to make people say oh she's just a little poor 
baby. Look at her. Okay, trend number two is baby teeth. What the fuck are they? Think like a Chinese girl and look at the baby and analyze the face. If you look at the smile, you would notice that they are teeth are small and they have a gummy smile. And this is the desired look that you're looking for. Okay, here girls literally desire the gummy smile. If in the West, for example, Kim Kardashian injected the Botox into her lip muscle and all other girls also do this in order to get rid of it. And or maybe you would look for a dentist to fix your gummy smile but here in china this is the desired look for example the smile of a famous k-pop star jenny is one of the most desired smiles in china right now because according to what netizens say she smiles just like a child it's all because of her gummy smile other trendy teeth are rabbit teeth rabbit teeth as well, as you guys might already find out, the two front teeth look just like rabbit teeth. Why is this look popular? Well, I guess because it's uh, cute. Trend number three is baby needles. So basically when girls take infusions, they ask instead of adult, you know, like thicker needle, they would ask for a needle that children would use, It's basically way, way thinner. And then they take this infusion, they take a picture of the infusion and they show off on the internet that, oh, look at me, I'm just like a baby. I need a baby needle. <laughs> And recently there were also a lot of nurses who were complaining about this issue because like, come on, you are already an adult. Just accept it. You're not a freaking baby. It's like it has become out of the norm. Like maybe like a few years ago, nobody knew that you could ask for, a, you know, baby, baby needles. Now everyone, every girl comes to the hospital and asks me for those freaking baby needles. Just stop it and stop showing it off on the social media. Well, the next one is even more cringe. It is freaking baby bottles the using baby using the pacifiers okay to drink milk to drink soy milk etc and even asking their boyfriends you know to their papa to make them some milk or even drinking beer and using pacifier it's like so cringe i don't know it's but it's becoming the norm it's like I'm, I, I don't know how to yeah i'm just saying this now on the internet so that you know to express my emotions about it okay trend number five is about your body and here's when the pedophile's dream finally ends <laughs> because your body has nothing to do with the with the baby body yes it's not considered a beautiful being petite and being a uh, chubby like a kid no nothing like this in my previous video half a year uh, half a year ago i i told you guys that here the beauty standard is being under 50 kg but now now, when I look at the recent, you know, influencers and the stars here in China, I'm thinking, huh, the beauty standard is shifting now towards 40 and 45 kg. And you know, guys, what I notice as well here in China, girls don't strive to have big boobs. For example, like in Russia, yes, uh, girls inject like huge lips, like dark lips, and then they make their noses very, very small, like Barbie noses, and then they make these, you know, Pamela Anderson boobs. But here, here in China, I don't see this trend. Like having a boob job is not really, really trendy here. Honestly, this is from what I saw. And you know why it's not popular? Well, I think it's because on social media such as Chinese TikTok or Chinese Instagram or anywhere else on Chinese plot platform, if you show a little bit of your cleavage, you'll get blocked. Like recently I got blocked because of my bikini photos on my Chinese Instagram, I just, I got blocked for a month. They were just like, we will not show your profile to anyone for a freaking month just because I showed some bikini freaking pictures. So why having boobs if you get blocked anyway? <laughs> so <laughs> that's uh, my analysis of uh, current beauty trends in China. <laughs> so basically in China, it's just enough having, uh, you know, pretty face, 
having some proportions but at the same time being really really skinny that's the influencers look anyway let's get back to the pedophiles where the fuck do we draw the line at what it is what's normal and what's not normal i mean like i think baby bottles is just like a little too much don't you think guys and baby needles and like everyone here wants to show off that they are just like babies not only they want to show, show to show off that they are mentally weak yes they also want to be physically weak like being under 40 kg and you know like starving themselves to the point that they you know need to go to the hospital like and you know i don't consider myself like just an observer you know these uh, current trends i'm also i live in this place okay i'm being influenced by these beauty standards like why am i wearing a hat right now is because i had a surgery i had a hair transplant surgery who which women who even do you know hair transplants only in china freak and why did i do this well because i was influenced by the beauty standards i thought that you know i need to change my facial proportions or whatever i do realize if a guy tells me oh you're so cute you act like a child in a good way <laughs> again if a guy tells me this again i would probably take it again as a compliment and i'm then thinking am i okay is china okay and uh, i'm just thinking if you know this is accepted in other countries now as well because you know i haven't been to the states since 2018 i want to go back actually i need to but i need to apply for visa and uh, I'm not ready for this and sometimes i receive comments being like oh sh you only share about some negative experiences some negative shit about china but you guys uh, i live here i have been living here for almost five years and you know if i'm not getting out from here it's because i probably like it you know i could live some anywhere else anywhere freaking else but i decided to live here it's probably because you know the pros outweigh the cons but anyway my next two videos are gonna be about some negative shit that i experienced recently so stay tuned okay and don't forget to watch my recent video about the hair transplant surgery see you guys in the next videos bye bye